everyone. Hello and welcome to the Feminine Health and Wealth uh, video series of 2020. I hope you are doing fantastic. And we are in April, so that means we are starting a new theme. Now, this month's theme is all about self love. All right, and of course, we're tying it into health. And I just want to remind you of the four areas of health. So we have physical health, emotional health, mental health, and spiritual health. When you are working with health, you want to work on these four levels and make sure that they are in balance so you feel empowered and motivated to actually participate fully in your life and to feel joy every single day. So because this is April and we are going all out for self-love, I'm going to help motivate you towards creating a little bit of self-love or a lot of it in these four areas of your life. All right, so let's start. Um, I would like you to take a few minutes. You can pull out a pen and paper or your phone and you can record yourself after you're done listening. And I want you to take notes on what you think needs some attention. So let's go through each area of your life. Let's start with physical health. I would like you to rate yourself from one being the lowest and five being the best. How do you rate your physical health? All right, give yourself a score. And let's do the second one right away. Let's go with mental health. How are you feeling with your focus, with your time management or focus management? Or how are you doing with positive thinking or um, making good use of your time? So your mental health, how is that? Rate it, one being the lowest, five being the highest. Take a minute, do that right now. Now let's go into emotional health. How do you think you are doing there? Now be honest, um, one being stressed out, difficulty, sadness, um, anything like that. And five being absolutely peaceful, centered, doing great, not just once in a while, but like 90% of the time doing really well. That would be a five. So give yourself a score on that one. Now, let's go for uh, spiritual health. How do you find your connection to your higher power, to a sense of purpose, to being supported that the universe has your back? One would be the lowest, five would be absolutely great. So what we're looking for is balance. If you feel that um, some areas are really low, whereas other areas are high, that is not going to give you balance. It's going to be off a bit. If you find that they're all equal but pretty low or, you know, just a bunch of threes, then this has balance. But what we want to do is bring it up. So you've already gone through every area of health and you've given yourself um, a score. So once you've done that, I want you to look at is it off balance? Is it like this? Or is it low? Or is it where it where you want it to be? So that'll be part two. Afterwards, what I'd like you to do is jot down per area things that you can do to bring up um, your score, your vibration, your happiness, your sense of purpose. I want you to, in each area, to jot down ideas on what you can do and are ready to do in each area. So we'll start with physically. You can jot down a few things that you are ready to do that fits with your lifestyle or pushes you a little bit out of your comfort zone. Not a huge step, but something that you would be ready to commit to. And I want you to write them down. Then I want you to write down underneath your score, for your mental health, 
things that you could do right now, implement right now, that would help with your mental focus, with your men- mental health, with your mental well-being, with your mental resistance. All right. Thirdly, I would like you to do that also with your emotional health. Now, I'm going through these quite quickly, um, but you can absolutely stop the video or come back to it and replay it. And each time that we talk about a certain exercise, all you need to do is put it on pause, do the work, and then come back to it. Okay, so now we're doing emotional health. I want you to reach inside and allow some suggestions to come up on what you could do emotionally to help you feel empowered, motivated, energized, happy. Um, And I want you to write those down, okay? And fourth, I would like you to do that for your spiritual health. What are things that you could do? Um, would breath work fall into spiritual health for you? Because that would allow you to connect on a deeper level with your higher being or the universe. Um, Maybe motivating, maybe walking out in nature. I want you to uh, jot a few things down to help raise your score or balance out your score in your spiritual health. All right. Now, There are things that you can do right away and there are things that you will need to do uh, maybe later on this week or in a week or so. So if it is something that you cannot implement right now because there are steps to be taken beforehand, I want you to write it down in your agenda or go put it in your calendar on your phone if that is what you use and I want you to leave it there so when it pops up if you had forgotten I want you to take care of it and if you are taking this challenge seriously maybe in 10 days or so I would like you to come back loop back to this video or simply take another test and grade yourself from one to five how you are feeling Has it balanced out? Has your energy come up? Do you feel that you are more in control or happier or calmer? All in all, how are are you feeling? Some people will say it has balanced out. Other people will say it has risen up. Other people will say, oh my goodness, I feel I am more emotional. Maybe it's because you are addressing some underlining situations that needed your attention. In all these cases, know that you are absolutely moving forward. And for that, I want you to celebrate that win. If you have extra questions or would like to share how you're doing, make sure you can comment on this video or you can reach out to me. And remember that if you need a community uh, behind you, I have a strong group of women uh, in our Natural Healing Female Tribe on Facebook. It's completely free. I give tons of value, lots of training and challenges that will keep you motivated and accountable to always keep these four areas well exercised and feeling powerful in these four areas. So on this note, I am going to wish you a fantastic April. Make sure you take care of yourself very well. Allow yourself to receive all the love and all the blessings. And I will talk to you very soon. Bye for now. (music) 